Okay. I was tagged by my good friend Guns Knives Survival to do this video. And the question is, you're parachuted onto a desert island <clears throat> that's 10 miles in diameter. It has fresh water running through it. What three things would you want to bring with you when you're parachuted in? So, here are my three choices and why. First off, I would like to have taken a Swedish fire steel to make fire, but I don't have one in my personal collection right now. So, a big lighter will have to do. I prefer a big because it lasts longer and is more reliable than the cheap ones. And I'd prefer the full size, but I don't have one handy. So that would be one. Number two would be a number 10 can of macaroni. Now this may seem odd, but uh, here's my thought behind it. <clears throat> one, after you're parachuting into this island, you're going to need all the energy you can to gather water, build your shelter, scout out your location. The macaroni will give you needed carbohydrates to have energy to do this with. Then number two, the tin can itself will use to gather the water, cook with, boil water. You can even dig with it. Many uses for a number tin can. And the extra macaroni you can make you a sack out of your parachute and the cord to keep it in while you use the can. <clears throat> and that's number two. And number three would be my U.S. Marine Corps issue combat knife. I've had this one since I was about 15. And as you can see, It is well used. This could be used for chopping, cutting brush, digging, tie a uh, long pole or stick to it, and you can go spear fishing off this island. Many uses for it, and it's durable. You can even baton wood with it. So those are my three choices. I hope you liked the video and thank you for watching. And thank you Guns Knives Survival for tagging me. We'll see you later. Take care.